Hey everybody, today we're looking at Resident Evil 4. Although, technically we're not really looking at Resident Evil 4. We're looking at Resident Evil 4 with the fan mod of HD uh, textures installed. And the best way I guess I can prove that is I can press F1 and show that it also installs Resident Evil 4 tweaks. This is version 1.1 of the HD mods and I assume that's why it says 1.1 down in the lower right hand corner. In short, the visuals for Resident Evil fine Re Resident Evil 4 are fine without installing the HD mod. They're not great. The game is pretty old. It's been repackaged and resold many times with the graphics being tweaked a little bit but not tweaked as good as you particularly liked it and Capcom really doesn't have any interest in taking this classic game and uh, just remastering it instead they've decided to remake it now in part that may be due to the fact that a lot of the textures in this game are legally ambiguous as to whether or not they actually had the rights to use the textures in the first place and paid a license to the person who had made the right the textures for things like bricks on the walls and uh, wood paneling and things like that um, there is this lawsuit that I don't think ever really got settled there even if it did get settled it does create this weird problem where um, they are losing face and the Japanese companies like Capcom certainly do everything to save face not lose face so yeah the remake also of Resident Evil 4 which is on its way makes this the kind of last time in which you can reasonably play Resident Evil 4 before you start to have to think about whether you want to play the remake instead. The remake is going to change a few things but overall I think it is going to just try to be the same general experience but bigger and better. Some of the things they're going to try and do is make Ashley seem maybe a little bit older as a college kid as the president started. They're going to get rid of some of the lewd jokes. Um, and the flirting with Hunnigan. When you talk to Hunnigan, she's going to be in a full cutscene, which is more of what you really would see in a game uh, nowadays. And it does definitely take the best selling Resident Evil game, maybe not the best loved, that arguably still might be Resident Evil 1 or 2 for a lot of people, but it takes the best selling Resident Evil 4 game and locks it in a new timeline with the other Resident Evil 2 remakes and Resident Evil 3 remakes although oddly there really isn't a Resident Evil 1 or a Resident Evil 0 remake that um, that locks with this new repeated remake timeline so much even though there is a Resident Evil 1 remake it didn't have the same love and the care and attention to it um, now, it is also worth mentioning that oddly Resident Evil 4 and maybe even 6 and 5 maybe all had a lot of problems on my uh, computer of micro stuttering, just incorrect frame pacing, not being able to keep it at a consistent 30 frames per second uh, or 60 frames per second. Um, Lego games were really the only other games that consistently had that problem. Everything else I played never showed any micro stuttering at all. And it drove me crazy and it definitely made me not want to play Resident Evil 4. So I've waited years to try and figure out a way to get around it. Uh, it turns out what happened is somewhere around Windows 7 or 8, Microsoft decided to do a by default enabled option called full screen op optimizations which I guess works most of the time in most engines and most games but it definitely doesn't work with Resident Evil 4 and Lego games so 
you find the executable, you go into the program files under like C, program files, Steam apps, uh, and then you'd go to Resident Evil 4 uh, folder, and then you'd find the exe file, uh, which there's another way to do that through Steam to browse the local files. But then you have to right click the executable exe file and then go down to the tab or go up to the tab at the top that says compatibility and there's simply a checkbox that says disables full screen optimizations um, and that should fix it if it doesn't fix it then this will be probably my last attempt to ever play Resident Evil 4 on computer um, there's a real frustration that happened there because basically no visual settings you change in a game if it's having that micro stuttering from Windows causing a problem, which Windows totally should never have caused the problem in the first place. Nothing is in game will change it. Changing it down from 30 to 60 or 60 to 30 won't fix it. Turning down anti aliasing, turning off motion blur, lowering texture, shadow quality. Although they may all have a small effect on it, it doesn't really eliminate the problem at any significant amount. It's kind of interesting here. I'm not getting controller prompts. Um, I could adjust brightness on this game, but since this is a horror game, I think I'm going to leave it at zero. So adjust your brightness here. And I guess that's probably all the setup we really need to do because I would just like to jump into the game and start playing it we definitely are in a weird position um, because you inherently are not going to be experiencing Resident Evil 4 while you watch it watch me play it in any way you've ever experienced it before because of the fan projects and the fan project with the HD mods was literally to make new textures from scratch that were at higher resolutions and that were in the vein and in the theme of what the textures are and most textures you probably wouldn't even notice the difference unless you just had played Resident Evil 4 before you played the HD mod or you were just like really really uh, had memorized the whole game uh, so this is like new art that's not copyrighted but it's different art and it's a go it's effectively going to be a different art from what the remake is I wouldn't be surprised if Capcom since they already stole the art for RE4 once if they felt a twinge to think about stealing the art for the remake almost certainly they, they aren't going to do that getting caught twice of stealing art is crazy um, here we do have an interesting question like generally speaking I probably could beat the game on normal but usually I play games on easy and then knowing the new game plus element of this of Resident Evil 4 beating it on easy one time probably does still have a slight appeal versus playing it on normal hmm yeah I guess we'll just Try normal. Maybe we could drop down the easy if it's a problem. Resident yeah. Evil. I mean, I've played RE4 enough times to to not really need that. Need to play on I'll never easy. Forget. It was the year when those grisly murders. There are the some other tweaks in Soon this after, the news was out HD fan mod that, it was the fault that fix viral audio glitches and things like that, but I don't think they're going umbrella. deep to fix the any kind of controlling bugs, if there would be anything like that. It hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Hmm. Not taking any chances. I'm honestly not sure that this intro even exists in the original game version of the game. 
the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business. This would be quite an addition. Soon its stock prices crashed. To have a whole new intro. Umbrella was finished. Hmm. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been far too long since I last played RE4. Since there, there definitely was a would have Six been a point. Years have passed since that horrendous incident. That audio sounds really good. Uh, I received special training via a secret organization hmm. working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility. And yeah, those visuals look good. Now, of course, now I'm I'm still only playing this at 1080p and recording this at 1080p. I'm not gonna really ever try to get above that point until it gets really standard that most people have 2K or 4K monitors. Assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing. Those e ear models still seem kind of rough, and I can see bits of hair clipping through his ear. Ah, oh, you crazy American! It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. I wouldn't be surprised if this is either remastered audio lines or just straight up like fan voice actors changing the voice acting of some of the characters although it would be fairly wasteful to try and it was right have before I was people revoice the, the whole daughter, game abducted. that's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe like you're Before really not getting there's a higher definition a of audio very by replacing the voice story. actors Apparently she's being withheld by some You're getting different audio people. at that point. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? In all fairness, it's freezing. it is worth, I guess, saying that it's just so irrelevant, this first section, that it, it would be very easy to forget this intro. Um, Sorry it took so long. Because... You are less than 20 minutes from this point into the first major fight, and the first major fight is just so much more memorable and recognizable. On my channel, I've already played Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6, and if even if I were going to try and go back and play those games uh, again, through some kind of remake, I, I don't think I just up ahead is the village. Really choose to do that. I'll go and have a look around. We'll this is watch that car. kind of the problem. Don't want to get any parking tickets. In inherently, right. with the Resident Evil parking series, tickets. is that Good luck. they make enough of the games that you can't really go back and play the old Jeez. ones, Ooh, and you wouldn't guys. want to play half the old ones. Did you say something? Uh, that's why the remake series kind of makes some sense Leon, is that they're leaving I'm some of the side games support on this mission. so in the actual so official I'm remake this is going to be so the name's a full That's screen right. image the seeing her again so she'll be yourself, okay? it'll be a camera looking at her in front of a computer sure talking to, to you I'll try to find some more information on my end as well whereas obviously Good. since this was a we gamecube game first um, there wasn't enough room for the visuals. Let's see. Hmm. That's weird. Can we move the controls? Hmm. Hmm. Controller setup. Yeah, this is wrong. Um, inherently, the you can see an Xbox One controller being used as a reference. Um, Resident Evil 4 is a 
um, more easy game on the Wii version than anywhere else, and that was the first time I I played it. Okay. I think Type 2 probably is what I want. What's the slight difference here? I guess Type 3 might be really what you want. To move with the left stick and aim with the right stick. Hmm. That's all that really changes between Type 2 and Type 3. Although you can see how the images kind of jump around as far as where the button prompts are almost as if these were hand animated but yeah type one as far as having to press right trigger and X to fire really doesn't make any sense that, that does kind of feel like a um, Interesting that you can get a save before you can get to a save spot. Alright, so left trigger to aim. And I'll say it doesn't feel as smooth as you might want it to feel. But I wouldn't be surprised if that is just kind of the nature of this game. Hmm. And yeah, you hold down A to run. Why is it jerking my head instead of... I guess that's how this goes. Well, let's try the other controller configuration then. It's weird that the start button is taking me to the inventory and the menu button is, let's see, yeah, the start button is taking me to the inventory and then the select button. I, I do have to admit, while I'm 90% certain we have the HD models installed, I'm not 100% certain. Hmm. I probably could use Resident Evil 4's, the RE4 tweaks, to adjust us more. Hmm. I guess the question is maybe what I'm thinking is that the aim mode might be when you click on the stick, whether it's the left stick. Because mm. it doesn't really feel like anything happens. And I guess part of the problem here is that I am just a little, at this point, ooh, I took too long. And there goes a few gold, a few bullets. What I'd like to do is toggle running on the whole time. Because there's just kind of never a reason that you would want that off. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a choice around that. That would be definitely another tweak to do. And when you're just standing in a place, yes, you, you can't walk um, and shoot at the same time. At least you can't so far. So this is a 
kind of great example of yeah, this feels a little sensitive do we need to check can't go through there probably could jump through here Yeah, this is kind of a great example of how this game just doesn't quite have modern controls. And so the sensitivity of moving the camera around and walking and being able to look up or look down all just kind of falls apart. The fact that you can't right click or left click to zoom in and look at things um, is also a factor. So here's kind of great examples of what I imagine are fan retextures of books. And you can kind of see this book is the same as this book, but that probably was true in the first game. But almost certainly, uh, definitely from my experience, most players would have walked right past this bookshelf and either seen nothing because there were no books in the original version of the game or just walked past it because it was a dull kind of blurry mess uh, excuse me a Sir? lot of these textures obviously are supposed to be pretty gross we do have subtitles on but he just said something and the subtitles didn't pop up I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. And no. Sorry to have bothered you. No subtitles at all for. For what he was saying. Freeze. Hmm. I said freeze! So what we're looking for here is a minimal use of bullets because we're playing on normal. Hmm. Hmm. And see that sounds like that may have been extra lines of dialogue. I wouldn't be surprised if they did revoice those two characters because they never show up in the game no choice but to neutralize uh, again there's still others surrounding the area get out of there and head toward the village but Take characters like Leon and Hunnigan understood it really wouldn't be uh, worth it All right he's not a zombie and yet we've got some really gross creepy magnet things just non-voiced check responses I guess that might be a certain way in which you could um, have the player not have to voice things hmm. a certain level If these guys are just going to get closer, it is probably better to just try and um, knife the characters. The knife is by far the most powerful weapon. Um, what is the reload button? Interesting that Y brings up the map. I imagine most characters don't, most players on multiple players 
don't come back and look at this. Is just another oh no, not subtitled. Yeah, the fact that you have to hold down the A button to run instead of just tilting the left stick down further to run, the fact that you're having to press X to pick up an item and then X again to confirm if you're going to pick up the item is really very reminiscent of just a game that is fairly old at this point so it definitely did need a remake the only real concern is should I make saves? I mean you, you basically have infinite saves these are saves when I was trying to play a test game earlier um, which there's really no point in keeping those saves so I'll just overwrite them notice they only really have a time that you've been in the game more than they have a uh, or a time of day. No, it's got to be a time you've been in the game because it's not midnight right now. So like on easy at one point when testing the game for micro stuttering, I got an hour in and then in another time I got an hour and 35 minutes into it at the end of chapter 1-2. Uh, a lot of prompts there just to even cancel. There are a lot of games that certainly would benefit from more remakes. These crows in particular are you kind of if you memorize it will know exactly even what will be dropped from the crows in a lot of cases right. what is the control to reload hmm. no there is a way to reload lift trigger A okay You always help the dog. And yeah, I'm not going to say these graphics look bad, but they are dated. That they look like now, even with the HD update, it looks like a game that if I if you didn't know Resident Evil or if there wasn't a Resident Evil series and this was the first Resident Evil game ever to be released on Steam in comparison it would just feel like okay this is a double A game which in all fairness I guess Resident Evil probably always was a double A series and not really a triple A series until fairly recently um, horror games just don't sell as well one thing that HD textures might convince you is that you can get to higher locations and not be walled off as much as this game really is going to wall you off um, let's see is there benefit in shooting the mines at all or should you can you just like walk up to them and disarm them? Yeah, and the, it's it's little TNT sticks now, whereas 
I'm sure in the first game it was probably supposed to be more bricks of mortar. This game definitely highlights and encourages shooting more than anything else. As far as just if you see a bear trap, shoot it. If you see a if you see a explosive thing, shoot it. I So, trying to knife these guys probably doesn't really work. Well, this camera is just all over the place, though. It kind of feels like what I need to do is just learn to only move the left stick when aiming with the gun. Because anytime you're just generally walking, the camera follows yourself anyways. Is he going to come? I think he actually doesn't... doesn't um, actually make it this far into this area and instead just yells at you. Yeah, and little sleazy jokes and personality building around uh, our character. Guess there's no sex discrimination here, but I find or fast those are almost certainly going to be removed just to I guess be more in line with what you would expect from a professional secret service agent which I think is what he's supposed to be The main point of all of this events is to get used to the idea of shooting humans because up until this point it would have been just shooting zombies in the game and that the humans would be fairly weak. Now even now though I, I have to say the camera is following me way more than it should. And for this run, you would normally just combine these three, and but that doesn't actually make any sense right now. It's better to potentially have three health refills with our health low. Yeah, I'm having to go here and just see if there's maybe some option. Aiming mode classic. Let's try aiming mode modern and see how that works. See if that changes anything at all when playing with a controller. Oh yeah. I don't know if that's really changed to anything at all. For a second there that felt better but I don't know if it really changed anything. The, the general idea here is that these guys are just kind of waiting for you, I guess. Or they just spot you sitting there. And they're acting as guards. And yeah, my memory is faulty here because I don't even remember there being 
this door here and this gate I th I remembered you freed the dog and then you got past the explosive elements and then you were just in the village for that first fight hmm Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Honigan. It's a... Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing <laughs> manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. And certainly a modern game wouldn't just straight up tell you here's a playing manual. Hmm. 35 minutes into this recording. They're telling you how to reload. Kicks. Pushing enemies that are either stunned or on their knees, Leslie on to perform kicks is prompted by the action button. And certainly when you're playing this on the Wii or even the GameCube, GameCube controllers also only really had an A button for affirmative. It made GameCube and Wii games incredibly easy and dumbed down. So just by having multiple button prompts and buttons to select from, the game gets more complicated. In the remake, they're going to actually show you this guy being killed. I don't know why this game has a zoom in mechanic at all. Instead of just seeing the corpse there being burnt. And more than likely you would be able to move around and maybe even figure out a plan of attack here. Although, you really, from this perspective, couldn't figure out too much. It's not going to give you a general layout of the entire area. It's only going to let you see the areas that you can see from that small vision cone. Hmm. And there's no stealth in this game. So you can maybe try to prevent people from from seeing you. But you can only really do that so far, this whole village is going to be a little bit bigger in the remake. Hmm. Hmm. Th that was a point there hmm. let's see if we can push this and usually I find myself when I lock myself into this area it's a mistake And any amount of like gold you get here probably not really worth it. But this one locks you into this area and doesn't give you any windows or You want to get headshots. Hmm. Hmm. 
more people are chasing me. So now's the time to jump into this. Who are these people? Arguably, maybe you don't. You don't even trigger the chainsaw if you don't go into this room. I don't remember. Let's go ahead and knock that down. And all right, let's now equip this. And here we go. <laughs> Very possibly there's somebody getting up behind me. I'm just hoping that Let's also use this again. That gets us. And that should be good enough. You, you want to trigger the. You want to trigger the chainsaw guy to get that 10,000 gold so that you can get the upgrades. Uh, on the gun so that your handgun which is the gun you're going to use the most for the at least the first act first third of the game yeah I'm pretty sure that's just a timed event bingo and that is the iconic intro with HD mods and it does look better but it doesn't look hyper realistic bad news. like Confirmed Resident Evil 7 Something's and even Resident Evil 7 at this point Leon, compared to, to Resident Evil Village or um, Got it. Oh, 8 whatever even that like is going to quickly be dated There is a real argument to not have, um, not have your game show faces and show people, because that is the thing that gets dated very quickly. You can't do that in a game like Resident Evil, obviously, but if you were, or any kind of horror game, really. I guess this might be an interesting texture to look at. I'm not gonna try and see every new texture in the game. And your level of memorization of where things are are going to drastically affect how much of an experience you can really have in this game as far as getting upgrades quickly this really is the only reason why I would have chosen to play this game on normal hmm. yeah I 
guess a lot of this isn't voice acted, so it really wouldn't be as big of a deal, or it wouldn't feel as big of a deal to change the voice actor. But yeah, later on you're definitely going to run into that problem. Let's see. Let's see if we can chase the chicken around and convince it to drop an egg. And we want to just straight up find every single item in this village. We will crisscross and come back to this village later, but there's no real reason to not stock up on weapons. And I definitely am just hoping that what occurs here is that my fingers get more accustomed to this old control scheme. Uh, I feel like I'm getting back into the habit of it. It does still very much feel very zigzaggy in that you're just I'm just going backwards and forwards trying to look. The camera is zoomed in in a way that you would not expect a modern game to be zoomed in. You would expect it to be more of a distant shot. Okay. So now that we can combine this with this and combine this with this. It's going to be slightly a waste, but it's worth it to just pull that right there. And we'll go ahead and combine that with that because you can see we're starting to run out of space. Hmm. The old briefcase test mechanic here never got copied by anything. Even Resident Evil games after this didn't actively try to stick with that idea. So we want to shoot the chickens just because there will be some traps when we come back in these paths and crisscross. Flash grenade, potentially not that useful. I don't believe this building over you can see how there's a drift in a fairly intentional drift. Yeah, I don't think you ever get to do anything with that building. So that always seemed a little weird to me. That this, that there was just one building that felt like it was left on the cutting room floor. Like you can't shoot through this wood. Hmm. Nor can you jump through these windows. So it's basically just a wall or collections of walls. I don't know if you get anything for shooting the cow. But Definitely takes a lot of bullets to put it down. So, I suppose the punishment is in the waste of bullets. Is 
That being said, it does... I do think you get... Um, something for shooting the chickens, I think. You don't open these, do you? No. Nope. I think there might be something else over here. Hmm. Certainly you could come back and enter this area later to pick up that collectible. see there's an arrow that way which is I think the way we go it is very unique how this game starts one way and then ends a very different way like you start this whole game trying to find the president's daughter in this small Spanish village and then by the second act you're in a as Granja mean farm interesting uh, uh, but then you end up in a castle then you end up on a military island the the enemies are quite a few yeah. If anything, I guess it is interesting to have a game that is as long as this is, where so many other games, or more modern games, would tend to try to be a bit briefer or just have one or two enemies as a horror game. This one really lets you to have a collection of monsters to fight. And they kind of get away from that in Resident Evil 7. And they... A lot of games definitely are not like that. Hmm. Is there a point to save? Do we really need to... Yeah. I feel like I probably should save. And then that'll be the end of this episode. Like, there is just too high of a chance. Otherwise, of. of the game. Well, I don't really expect the game to crash or anything, but. it could happen. Or I may very well just have to exit out of the game. Right. It's really not a reason to not just overwrite what we had before, but can I delete save files? Uh it doesn't seem like it you really can. Alright. So we got a lot of resources. We've got our save file. We've got our control settings, I think, as good as we can get them. And I didn't want to go over it completely at this point, uh, at the beginning of the recording, but let's just do a quick highlight, I think, of all of the adjustments you could potentially do with Resident Evil 4 tweaks version 1.7.7.6 these are all the default settings and I don't really see a reason why I would want to change too much let's see additional field of view sliders adding 20 seems good for most cases so 
that would be potentially interesting um, just because it's a widescreen game that would change things certainly more um, so a lot of things just checks like disable film grain disables film grain overlay that is present in most sections of the game interesting so definitely some artistic choices too you have separate volumes for cutscene and music and effects and a master volume you have a mouse settings which arguably maybe I should be playing this game with a mouse and keyboard that would probably be way easier let's see change of the controller uh, sensitivity for some reason the, re the vanilla controller doesn't have an option to change it for controllers only for the mouse so we could adjust that hmm. allow reloading without aiming reload without zooming hmm. not usually recommended enable dead zone override the game's default is one but it seems unnecessarily large so we default it down to 0 0.4 so yeah I, I definitely could see playing around with this I don't want to get too deep into the into just kind of goofing off with settings here and not actually playing the game but yeah and then some other stuff as far as just memory and then high keys I don't think really do too much so the the main thing I would think about would be controller sensitivity and field of view so let's go back and with this on the screen just quietly walk back this way and then walk around and see what a field of field of view slider of 20 would do I guess you check this hmm. yeah that lets you see a lot more of the screen honestly I could I could do this at 40 but let's just get it at 20 and then let's see what that feels like as far as controlling still feels fairly herky-jerky as far as moving the camera around but it does feel certainly a little bit more sim smooth doing this scoping and scanning with the laser sight let's see generally when I'm recording I also disable um, vertical sync but we'll leave it at whatever it kind of doesn't matter if we didn't disable film grain the game would look like this which is a little bit darker which is kind of what you would expect film grain would kind of hide some texture issues certainly like low polygon fingers but yeah I think I'll stick with the de default there and then controller sensitivity at one let's see if that feels any different like it just kind of seems perfectly fine it's not super fast if I was to say double it just to get a general idea of what changes then 
Yeah, a double sensitivity. Even at that. Seems fairly fine. It might be a little bit hard to try and target somebody from a distance. So let's just quadruple it and see if that is way too out there. Yeah, that's way too out there. Um, let's try maybe two and a half or thereabout. Yeah, remember when you're playing with the Wiimote, you would be just pointing a Wiimote. So there was a lot of intuitive fine-grained controls in that. Um, as far as uh, you could just move your hand. Uh, to aim at something and I know that probably doesn't say exactly 2.5 but I'm not going to try and get it exact But yeah, not not really any other options, I guess, that I would really want to change as far as tweaking, and so we'll leave it at that. So yeah, already I can say, compared to the two or three times I've tried to record this series and then had to give up because of micro stuttering, I am not seeing any micro stuttering. Now, did you see any prompt in Resident Evil 4 tweaks about micro stuttering? No, that seems to be very much just an issue that I've run into um, that a lot of people haven't run into. I think it may have to do with having NVIDIA graphics cards and AMD CPUs. Uh, it was not a problem when, on my gaming laptop many, many years ago. And then all of a sudden when I built a new computer, uh, it was a problem. Um, but yeah, uh, it also may very well have just been that my gaming laptop had Windows 7 that didn't have the full screen optimization option, and then my new computer did have Windows 10 that did have the full screen optimization option, but yeah. Again, I will say, if you see any micro stuttering at all, which hopefully nobody ever would, go into the compatibility tab of the AXE file and disable full screen optimizations and that seems like that fixes it perfectly um, and creates kind of a great experience or uh, at least a good enough experience visually this game looks way better certainly than I imagine it would look without the HD uh, textures but controller wise it is still controlling an old game on an old engine and it is going to take a little bit of an adjustment to get back into the mental mood of playing such an old game inherently as long as Capcom does a good job at remaking Resident Evil 4 and it just has the generic feeling of Resident Evil 4 people will probably play the remake and never go back to previous versions of the game which is fine there's a lot of games like that where remakes if they are just loyal remakes on almost every level completely replace the original versions of games uh, we've been going an hour so now is the time to end this recording as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos because that helps me with YouTube if you want a friend or follow me on any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below and if you want to support me further there's a link to patreon 
or you can friend me on Steam and gift me a game off my wish list. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.